Hello, I'm Mario, and today I need to purge my kitchen cabinets. Well, and part of the reason why is this is my one year anniversary for full time RV living. Yeah, I've been living in this Geo Pro travel trailer for one year now. And yeah, I've been using the Chevy Colorado to pull the Geo Pro travel trailer. Everything's been working out really good. I'm really happy about that. But yeah, I wanna take the time to show you guys inside exactly what it is I need to take care of. All right, yeah, so I'm still wearing the ball cap. Um, I just need to cut my hair and then I can, I can be without the ball cap. So I don't think, it doesn't look too bad, but yeah, uh, still have the cap on. So here's what I'm talking about over here. Uh, in the kitchen, there's a lot of stuff going on that I'm not gonna be changing. So I've, I've done some things initially, like I have a, a towel rack here. I have some hooks for towels here. I've been using my dish pans here and all of this stuff is working out really well. So I'm not gonna be changing a lot. And like when I'm camping, the, uh, the cast iron skillets here, so there's some things that are not going to be changing, but yeah, I want to go ahead and go through the contents of the cabinets and just pull out the unnecessary stuff. And in fact, this is something that's ongoing. I mean, you do it all the time, I'm constantly keeping track of, hey, did I touch this? Did I not touch that? And that sort of stuff. And, and that, you know, for the entire rig and for the stuff that I keep in my Colorado, weight savings is critical. And I've been purchasing stuff and I haven't been necessarily purging as much as I've been purchasing. So yeah, I need to address that. And talking about purchasing stuff, if you recall, I already purged the microwave here. So what I'm doing right now is I, I store my heater in there, my little um, space heater, electric space heater. I store that in there, um, my waste basket is in there, but ultimately what that's going to be is, that's where my lithium battery bank is going to live. So yeah, there's gonna be uh, not totally reimagined, and I think I, I know what I'm gonna be doing with you know that crazy project there, but I also wanna go through the cabinet. So without further ado, let's see what we got going on up here. And so, yeah, uh, I don't know why I have so many of these plastic grocery bags, but I do, I, I keep them. I don't need this many, but let's start by pulling that out and see what we got. Okay, I don't know why I started hoarding so many of these. Usually I just have, you know, maybe half a dozen at the max stuffed up there. So I'll continue doing that, but I have to, uh, I gotta, I gotta use these up. And what's happening is, is that normally what I'll do is, um, I'm using these bags, these small trash bags with my small little trash can because having a large trash can just uh, it doesn't make sense to have a big trash can, especially in such a little space. If I have to throw away something large, then yeah, I have these, the tall kitchen ones also and I can just, you know, bag up the what I need. But yeah, so I have that. I got these uh, shop towels. I use the shop towels with my cast iron pan. I'm not saying that, that you should do that. You might. I don't know if the blue ink that they use in there is lethal or not, but anyway, that's, they seem to um, have less lint, the, those, the shop towels. And then um, powder-free nylon gloves. I have a backup thing of vinyl gloves. So that's for handling food, so I'm not necessarily wasting so much water. Um, so I don't know if that's necessarily the most environmentally sound thing to do, but that's what I'm doing. And, uh, Along with the shop towels, I'll also use a 100% cotton um, cloth, you know, like a, a t-shirt. And the idea of this is just to help maintain the cast iron skillet. And speaking of cast iron and purging, so I purged, I had a steel griddle that I used on my Camp Chef, I think is the name. I don't know if it's Chef Camp, I, I don't know. I get those reversed all the time. But at any rate, I have a, uh, well, it's a large propane grill a burner stove, not really a grill. And I use a griddle, a steel griddle on top of that. And so I, I got rid of it. It's not that I don't like it. I love it, but I got rid of it. I have to make choices. 
and so that steel one didn't make the cut and a large factor a lot so the weight is a factor but the large factor specific to the griddle was maintenance on the steel for, for whatever reason seasoning it and keeping it maintained turned out to be a huge chore maybe i'm not doing it correct but at any rate yeah and that's what this stuff here is is for um and yeah so but i love i love my cast iron that's going nowhere that's staying and then of course i have more bags um so i need to do better getting rid of this stuff or using this stuff and and not so much the store-bought uh plastic bags i you know i that's the idea i have these things is to kind of help me with trash or sometimes i use uh paper bags to um on on the travel days i'll actually you know i have i have something and I, I haven't figured out a good home for it it goes in a bag and paper bags work good because they're kind of cushiony in fact i use a paper bag to um store my uh, cast iron skillet whereas be before when i had the griddle and the cast iron i had a special bag that i put them both in now it's just a paper bag and my cast iron skillet works great all right most of what was up here were bags uh, and well, and my my vinyl gloves, bags, paper towels. That's been in this area here. That's right there. What else? What the heck? I don't even. And I don't even know what this is. Oh, okay. Um, some paper plates that I've never used, and uh, I had a little uh, a cooking grate for when i for my oven i had little special sized trays and when i gave the oven away i even forgot i had that up there okay another reason to purge these smaller trash bags they can be hard to come by especially if you're looking for the ones that don't have the fragrance you know if they don't have special uh, scents added to them and so i had to purchase this one wasn't my favorite and so i've been trying to get rid of this so apparently I'm really hoarding these things, man. I got a lot. Yeah, the bag, the bag thing is out of control. Um, so here's something I do use this. This is uh, the purpose for this is when I set my table outside and I'm cooking outside. This is kind of acts as like a, a no slip surface for my things because the table when I set it up, it's not always level. So this is those little uh, kitchen cabinet liners. So that I use that definitely keep it handy. Additionally, I have some parchment paper. Uh, actually, do use parchment paper um, sometimes when I'm storing leftovers. I'll wrap them in parchment paper. Uh, you know, I don't have an oven anymore. Um, I have a backup thing of Reynolds wrap for some reason. I think I may have forgot that was up there. And I have coffee filters. I don't have a coffee maker, but I have coffee filters. And I don't know how helpful this is for you guys, but it's a learning, it's helpful for me. It's definitely a learning, learning experience. All right. And then, so I have this, this is for a dozen eggs. I have another one for six that I leave in the refrigerator. And now I used to do tent, camping and so a lot of the stuff that you see here is kind of a throwback from there so in other words this thing here is two years old and um you know i had it when i went camping and i used it because i'd buy a dozen eggs and i needed space for all of my eggs okay and then here i have lids for canning jars okay all right. Okay. Um, yeah, and that's not everything. Okay, and then I have this. <laughs> what this is, is, um, well, it's a horn. And so like, if you go to a marine outfitter, then um, you'll, you'll see these, you know, like a fog horn for your, for your boat. And so I have this, and so I need this. This is for bear, right? So um, now you might think to yourself, okay, Mario, <laughs> why are you going to challenge a bear with, with an air horn? Um, you know, it's, if you don't have anything, this might, this might be helpful. So I'm not telling you how to deal with bear. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I, this is what I have. 
Okay, so I consider these items here as essential. So uh, maybe not the quantity that I have of them. I didn't realize I was hoarding bags so much and I think I have too much aluminum foil. Um, I mentioned I have coffee filters. When we get to this cabinet, I'll, I'll explain the coffee filters. And I've shared this cabinet here before. And this is kind of like my pantry here. And this has been pretty much the same from the beginning. I mean, the layout really hasn't changed, so it's been working out pretty good. But as you can see, it's kind of crammed for space. So if I have a, a loaf of bread and also snacks, then things get kind of, uh, you know, I'm, I'm constantly moving something to get at another thing. And then so I'm going to have to keep that in mind. But I don't think I'm going to be purging anything in here. These little these little plastic tubs here have been working good to hold a glass, so I'm not going to be changing that. Now, one thing that I do for my coffee, I used to be able to fit one thing of like Starbucks coffee inside here, and now they change the sizing, at least the ones that I get at Walmart, where it's either I get a small one or I get one that's huge. I've never, I haven't been using this one here and so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this because it helps hold things in place while I'm you know this is glass and it helps hold things in place while I'm traveling so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this but now I'm gonna have two things for the coffee uh, that's that's the plan what I have here essentially is a kit I've had this kit for well well at least two years like I mentioned I did tent camping prior to purchasing this RV, this Geopro travel trailer. And so what I, what I have in here is a, a French press made of plastic. So this is AeroPress. And I have a, a coffee, I have a coffee mug here and a measuring spoon. And the only thing I use now, I don't use the AeroPress. I did for a long time. I mean, I've used it for over a year. I went through all of the filters that come with it and then some. So it's not like I haven't used it. And I've just decided it ain't worth it. So now what I do is I have my trusty mug, I have my filters, and I have my coffee. So here's another purge item. AeroPress, gotta go. All right, this is quite a bit of stuff. Um, so that this stuff is being Kept. I don't know about these uh, canning jar lids, and I don't know why I have extras. Um, I do have canning jars somewhere. I know that up here I don't. There's not too much going on in here, like I mentioned. There's my pantry, so I just got various snacks. And one thing that has worked out awesome is keeping my cereal in this cracker jar. That is not going to change. I'd like to spend a little bit of time talking about these cabinets. You know, I mentioned that this one uh, area here is going to be dedicated for lithium battery bank. And I think I've figured out, I think I've, I think I've figured out all of the products, at least 85% of the products that I'm going to use to comprise my new system. So I'm, you know, thinking about that in my head and and looking online and I've actually ordered a couple of things so at any rate in due time but the point here is this uh, this drawer right here has got to go and I don't want to eliminate anything else as far as drawers so um, I think what I'm gonna do is keep this uh, second drawer and third drawer that's uh, directly behind me here and so what does that mean exactly? Uh, well, I think I need to see what's going on inside this cabinet here. I also use this as a pantry, but it has some other things in it and I don't even, I have a tub with some stuff in it. I have another tub with some stuff in it. I have some dish gloves that don't fit me. Now these sponges, I use these. I'm going to set those up. I'm going to set the sponges up there. But then I also have cabinet parts. And 
my canned foods. So let me let me pull this stuff out here. And so what I have here is I got some electrical uh, supplies. Well, essentially what I have is um, a marine heat shrink and some uh, loom material. And then uh, I have uh, command strips and I have some cloth. I don't know even know what this is for, but I have a, some sort of cloth for prepping an area maybe. There's some instructions here. Uh, well, the command strips, I think they can stay at least for another year, maybe. But uh, yeah, some of this stuff's got to be purged and it, it doesn't necessarily have to be stored up there. Maybe, maybe I will end up storing stuff back there because the other stuff that I have is pantry items. So like canned soup, uh, I got some uh, fire roasted chilies and some tuna fish. And the other thing I had were these canning jars. So these are the jars that go with those lids. Um, I may end up keeping some of the smaller ones of these. That's what's in these bags here. Um, additional, like here I have two smaller, uh, you know, ones this size. And this is a larger this one. This is not trash, but these are panels for my cabinets. So when I disassemble my cabinets, this is what happens. I end up with this stuff. But until I'm done, you know, with all my other stupid projects, I'm going to hang on to these. So I am think I'm... I'm getting there. I think what, what I need to do is I need to check out what's going on in these drawers. Ah. All right, and then so in this drawer here, I have, I have aluminum foil. Okay, so I'm almost out of aluminum foil and that explains why I have that backup one. Will that even fit in here? Oh, okay, luckily I got the same size, all right. So I got aluminum foil. And then storage bags. Now these storage bags are important because any snacks, any food, whatever, it's got to go in a Ziploc bag uh, to get keep the ants away because they'll they'll come inside from the outside uh, looking for sweet snacks. And I, I like I like cookies and stuff. So at any rate, um, and then I got some cling wrap. So I use the cling wrap. I use all this stuff, and so it fits in this drawer. But this drawer is going away. And what I'm thinking is maybe I can purge everything out of that I have in this drawer. I don't think I need anything in this drawer here. Okay, so this item here, I actually special ordered this. This is for butter. And um, what I don't like about it is it's not water tight. So if I put it in an ice chest, it doesn't work really well. So, um, but anyway, I used it for tent camping. This is a couple years old. I don't think I'm going to get rid of this yet. I want to, I don't know, I'm kind of attached to it. Now I haven't, now here's the crazy, I haven't bought any butter since I've owned this travel trailer. No butter whatsoever. Um, I did buy some spray butter. Uh, kind of works, but I don't like the taste. Um, so what else do I got in here? Um, I have a, a bag, which apparently I've been using as dunnage. Uh, and then I have... Then I have a couple of bowls. I have not used these once. Neither of these two bowls have I used. I have a lid. Um, I don't think I have a pot for this lid, but I used it as, uh, I think I used it as like a grease cover on my skillets, and that's why I have it. But I haven't used it. I haven't used it since. Maybe I forgot it was there. Um, this this lid here I actually works for one of my pots, but I haven't used it. Well, my one pot. <laughs> I only got one. For some reason, this drawer is more wide, and I can use it to store my cling wrap in and aluminum foil. And then, so I got this other drawer here, and this is this thing's acting like a junk drawer. Okay, first thing in this drawer is another bag. But inside this bag is something that I use often, uh, probably more often than I'd like to admit. But, well, it's a, a shot glass that I bought in Vermont. So this is staying. And then, of course, I have to have recipes for cocktails. Now, I haven't used these recipes since I've been here. I, I, I've made a couple of margaritas on the road, but I haven't even used any of these recipes. So I'm thinking... It's time for them to go, even though I spent 
I don't know. I like the red. I, I'm not using them. It's time to move on. These bartending tools. I mean, I got a, um, I got a strainer. I got two strainer. I got two strainers, and I have. Uh, I don't know. What do they call that when you mash the 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 fruit or whatever? Uh, muddle. I think you muddle it. You you can muddle a lime or maybe if you have like uh, herbs or whatever. Okay, so have not used any of these. The strainer, the ice strainer, none of it. I use this when I cook. It's a little little dish for my spoon. I don't know. I don't know if that's weird or not, but I, I use it. Um, I don't use this strainer. Came with the travel trailer. Don't use it. Now I use batteries, but I have not used these. These have been eluding me. And um, yeah, nylock lock nuts. Uh, don't don't ask. I don't know. No, I don't know why. I don't have an answer. Um, I have not used this, but it does have a corkscrew. So I'm I'm holding on to the corkscrew. And I don't know what this is. This is a first aid kit. It's just got a couple band aids in it, but I I don't know. I'll have to reassess this. Because I got band-aids in, in there, in the bathroom. Um, I have a guy line for a tent or something. I do use this. I use this often. So this is staying. This is my backup lighter. Uh, it was a two-pack. I, I didn't want to buy two, but that's what the option was. I mean, one of those things lasts several months. This also came with the travel trailer. I think it's going, even though I can't really find one small enough to fit in these drawers, and that's why I never threw it out, but it's going. So this thing here, I use this every morning to boil water. I use it to heat food. I use this all the time. I have a lid for it. I've never used the lid while on the road. And of, of course I need more shopping bags, and inside here is our lids. And here are more lids. And here are more lids. I have a lot of these um, plastic tubs and I have not been using them often. I use them and then I use them and then guess what happens? The lid cracks. And that's why I think I'm going to be using those canning jars. So this is a Rubbermaid product. These aren't cheap. I mean, I don't know. These these are probably four years old. I, I had them in my apartment, so I shouldn't complain. But this is the only size I've been using. And, well, I don't know. I need something else. All of these lids, except for the two left that I for the size that I use, I'll keep those. But all of this other Rubbermaid container stuff, it's got to go. I have three bowls in here. I really only use one. The custard dish. I use it with the microwave to reheat beans, like maybe I, I have I split a can in half of some you know baked beans or whatever, then I would use this with the microwave. I don't have a microwave. And I have this bowl, um, I don't know, there's a name for it. I do use this rarely. I use this one all the time. Now I use this when I camp. Even when I tent camp I would use this and uh, it's for mixing my eggs. This is just dunnage, just like the plastic tubs I have upstairs. I think this is where I'm at. I can still mix eggs. This is... The other one's got to go. Now, everything in here, this is my kind of like go bag because I use it in the kitchen all the time and then I also take this when I go tent camping. I, this is a couple years old. And also I have this cutting board here. I have this. Normally it just lives up there when I'm camping, but that's where I store it. And then this is the kit that I would also bring tent camping, but I'll tell you what, uh, I've been moving items into this second one that I haven't really touched that often. So here are the items. I'll run through them kind of quick. So I use this all the time when I'm cooking with my cast iron. This one I use with the cast iron if I got stuff stuck on the edges. There's my lighter, use this all the time to light the stove. Got a meat thermometer, use that all the time. Spatula, use this one all the time. 
I got two spoons. I have two steak knives. Now, I don't know that I need two steak knives, but I'm not ready to part with either one of these yet. <laughs> Can't do it. A chef's knife. I got one knife, this chef knife. I use it all the time. This, this one here is like four years old. Maybe, I take that back. This thing's probably six years old, seven maybe. I have two forks. I have a can opener. I use the can opener. I know they, a lot of the cans are pull top. Sometimes they're not. I use the can opener. Gotta have tongs and I have these. So like I said, this tote is stuff. I use this stuff all the time so I know this is going nowhere. Now organizing it in this tote, I've been doing that because I wanted to have something that I could grab and take tent cam camping with me so that I didn't have an issue, uh, you know, uh, going from camping in the RV to camping with my truck. So that's why I have everything stored in here. It's not perfect trying to reach in there and grab a, a knife or just one spoon and I grab a fork, that kind of stuff. So um, maybe I can reimagine that, but that was the idea. That's why it's going inside one tote. And then the other tote is stuff that I have that I don't use all the time. Okay, so in this one, yeah, things that I feel I need. So I have this brush. I use this if um, to maintain my cast iron. So I might use water and this brush to get kind of at some stubborn stuff if it happens. So I'm not ready to get rid of that. Um, I have a whisk. You need a whisk, but I don't use it all the time. I don't always whisk my eggs. More often than not when I cook up eggs, I'll just have them like over easy. Um, so what these are are uh, powder-free latex gloves. And this is kind of like, like I was saying, it's like a go kit kind of thing. Like, so when I uh, change from, when, when I'm in the travel trailer and then I'm gonna go tent camping, that was, that's why I have this in a plastic bag. Um, so I'm, I don't know, I gotta reimagine this. Yeah, it's time for the grater to go. Cheese grater's gotta go. Uh, plastic sporks and forks and stuff like that. Uh, when I tent camped, all the time. This is two years old. Um, the spoons and forks are missing. These tongs, uh, haven't used them while on the road. I have used these camping, but I'm not going to use these. This is toast. Um, this is to check the purity of water. Uh, gotta go. I, I haven't, I, I, I don't know. I had a water filter or something and this came with it or I can't remember. Gotta go. Um, I have one knife. So like I said, uh, so this, I think this was actually part of a gift, a Christmas gift from a friend. Um, sorry, but <laughs> I don't have all that stuff anymore. Um, and I think this one's going to go to, these are the three things <laughs> that were in that thing that, it, that was, that I called my secondary tote. I got a brush and a whisk. <laughs> and a bag of, of latex gloves. <laughs> okay, um, I guess I could put it back in there. These two plates, I use them all the time. Well, at least one of them. This pie plate here, I've never used. Never used here. This is all of the stuff I think is that I'm keeping that was inside the cabinet. So, and, and I got some stuff down here too. And there's still, you know, pantry items in here. But yeah, this is uh, this is kind of my kitchen gear here, and then over here, this is the stuff that I'm actually going to get rid of. That's that's the stuff that's got to go. And like I mentioned, so I've been on the road for a year, and I'm I'm always thinking about what I use and what I don't use. Maybe not thinking about what I don't use, but I pay attention to what I touch. So if I'm using something often, then I'm going to uh, it, I'm going to find that item in a certain area, right? So, 
for instance, I had those two plastic tubs and I was like, look, I'm using this. So I put it in the top plastic tub versus the bottom one. So I started with everything in the bottom tub and then wound up like, hey, what, what, you know, if I'm using it often, I was like, mm, I put it in the, in the top tub. And that helps me prioritize uh, this, the junk I'm carrying around with me. And so, yeah, and I have other stuff I got to, you know, it's not just the kitchen. But I think I've been doing pretty good and I'm starting to find places for things and feeling more comfortable. So I don't know how you guys feel, but I feel better. <laughs> I feel better now. All right. So I'm going to close this out. Thanks for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. It's been a year. I can't believe, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm happy you guys are finding entertainment in these videos. It means a lot to me that you're tuning in. I don't know how to express it better than that, other than maybe I can add that, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, I don't know, I just, I feel like the YouTube channel is doing well, and um, so I'm impressed by its performance, I should say. And I don't really know how to gauge YouTube channel performances because I'm, I don't know anything about that. But uh, I have over 300 subs and people are watching the videos and so that's encouraging me to continue making content and I hope I'm not boring too many of you with this type of stuff here but uh, I don't know at any rate I, I'm now I'm rambling but I just wanted to say thank you I don't know how to say thank you uh, it, in the I don't know what words to use so thanks bye bye